Well, we made it back from Power Tour. Let me tell you, it was an awesome time. But, it's time to get back to work. But, on a, also, but, but, on a good note, Fairlane did awesome. Fairlane did its job. We put 1,207, I think it was, right at 1,200 miles, put on the car. But, we're back in South Texas, and it's hot, it's toasty, and we're here. But, we're going to try to get started on a project. Right, we're going to jump right back into it. I cleaned up the shop a little bit. I didn't want to get too carried away. I didn't want it to look like somebody didn't work out of here. So I left it a mess, you know? Be all right. But we got the MG at the door. We're going to see what we can do with this. Uh, we're about to get some parts on order and stuff, but I want to get it in here. I want to get it cleaned out. I want to get the floor cut out. I want to get the engine and everything out of it. And I want to get it moved over into its spot. I'm trying to decide what I want to do. Either like a gasser style setup which is pretty much what i'm leaning towards i'm thinking about buying like a model a frame or a model t frame with a straight axle in the front and narrow the rear end and everything and just go about it like that uh we'll go over more plans with this thing here in a little while but first things first we're going to try to get this thing in here into the lift and I don't know if y'all remember when I was trying to get this thing off the trailer. Tombstone was yanking my Super Duty, my trailer, everything. It was I, it, it was a mess. So I'm going to try my best to get it in here and on the lift. But for whatever reason, this thing is heavy. And it's not easy. So let's give it a whirl. notice but the floor messed up and it pissed me off so i ripped it all out i i hated that floor anyways it was it was messy when i pulled it all up there was dirt and everything so but anyways uh first things first i want to try to get this rear end I, I don't even know what's holding it in honestly like there's nothing here so I'm assuming these hoses, maybe something like that. Cause like, I don't know. I, I've never messed with one of these, so I don't know what's holding anything. I'm scared to put my hands anywhere, but I feel like, oh look, that does something. That right there, that's like a hinge. That's interesting. So what we're gonna do is get the saws off, cut these hoses and cut that and let it fall to the ground. Cause the right thing to do what is that
up and holding that thing in. What was in there, though? It's got a good strap. I think I'll start. Should I try to start it? Maybe just rip it apart? I don't know. That's for a vacuum in the van. See, we already got a, it's already got a vacuum leak. Fix that. It's like brand new now. Dirt dippers. Bunch of dirt tubers. Some nice wiring. I just... This is a four cylinder. I thought it was a three cylinder. Look at that. One, two, three, four. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Cuatro. Do I just go ahead and like cut everything out of it? I mean, I don't have the chassis yet though. But I need to get everything cut out of it and ready for a chassis. Then again, it's, it's really hot, and I'm tired. So I might pick this up tomorrow. Maybe? I don't know. Engine and, I guess that's a transmission. Yeah, it gotta be. Engine and transmission is out. Uh, it's like a whole subframe assembly. And I cut the radiator hoses, and I didn't need to. So, uh, we got antifreeze going everywhere on the floor for no reason. But you know, it's fine. I ain't worried about it. So now, I'm gonna save this engine for something. What I'm saving it for, I have no idea. Uh, as you can see, it's like a whole subframe assembly. Ah, uh, I can make something work. Got a shifter. 
it does shifty things. I mean, I got everything, so I can save it for like a go-kart project. I can weld something off the front. I don't know. Just, we'll just, I, I don't know. We'll just have to see what we come up with for this thing. Uh, so now we're going to get this drug out and cover it up. I'm going to drag it right there, over there. Cover it up outside. And then we're going to come in here. More likely we're going to pull the steering column cut stuff out you know take that out probably the carpet and stuff clean out the bed of it and we're going to cut the entire floor out of this thing i mean we don't need none of this so there's no reason to save it the only thing we're going to save is like the the back firewall it's real thick metal so we'll save that but the center of the floor from the firewall halfway down the firewall back it's all coming out uh we gotta fit a V8 in this thing. So, oh, and look how I have it suspended. It's perfect for cutting the floor. So I'm gonna get this drug out and we will go ahead and get this down, get the seats and stuff out of it and get the plasma and probably start just plasma and everything out. I mean, the less it's in there, the better, I guess. I don't know, my bumper's bent. Well, we got the seats out of it. Uh, I didn't know about these fancy compartments. Look at that. Access. Because they left the floor and then built the floor. I don't know. It, it is what it is. So now we're going to work on getting all of this out. I've already kind of started ripping this rug stuff out of here. Which is actually pretty disgusting. Uh, we're going to come here with a plasma and just... Just start cutting all this out of here. So I'm actually probably going to cut this first section out so I can crawl underneath here and it'll be easier to do all this stuff. So yeah. Oh, and then, well, this front half might come out. I don't know. It smells. It's connected over there again. Look at a sweet steering wheel. Nice. Let's just say this is a lot more work than I anticipated. Uh... They still have the factory floor and then quarter inch plate on top of that to cover up the rust. Front's not that bad. It's back here that's bad. So. I'm getting whooped. Ow, that is hot. Golly. So I'm going to keep cutting on this floor. It's ridiculous. We have a fire. I don't, I don't know what's causing it. I know that's leaking. I don't think it's gas. I mean, I can go like this and it goes out. Then I go like this. I guess it's done. But, good time to tell you, I got some of the floor cut out. I mean, we got majority of it. I'm working on this side. It really does make it a pain, being that they have plates stacked on top of plate and everything else. So, we're getting it. I'm filthy. I'm filthy. I'm all... It's about to be a fire. Ah! Let's throw it down there next to that. And... Alright, well we're calling it there for tonight. Uh, we got most of it cut out. The uh, very last cut, it fell and it hit me. So, we're calling it there for tonight. That means too much is going on. And, uh, I'm tired. Kind of hungry. We'll hit this again tomorrow. Good afternoon. And it is hot. So, I already started kind of cutting on this a little bit. I wanted to see what was going on under here to make sure it didn't catch on fire. Because, I mean, we had a little fire yesterday. Not that big of a deal. But, we're going to get this cut out. I went this morning. I got some Sawzall blades. So once we get this cut out, I can take Sawzall blades to the actual MG floor. And once we get that out, we're gonna come in here, we're gonna cut the wheel wells. I'm gonna keep a lot of this structure here, this piece across the back, cause that's, I, hang on, hold on, hold on. I know a few people are gonna be like, you should have cut the floor out of that car. Now the body's gonna be all tweaked. Did you see the rust? Do you think I care if the body's tweaked? No. I'm gonna set it on a Model A or Model T frame 
and we're gonna do burnouts with it. Like, it's not driving down the highway at 110. We're gonna have 110 wheel speed, but it's not gonna be going 110, if you know what I'm saying. So, not a big deal to me. So with that being said, that back wall is stained, and then that support down there, most of this here is stained, and then this strip on the back, and then part of the firewall. Hold the car together more than good enough, it'll be perfectly fine. So I'm gonna finish cutting this top layer out, and once this top layer is out, we'll cut the other layer out of it, because they did layer after layer. But it is hot, like it is really hot in here. Oh, my neighbor's putting up a pool too. Oh man, it's a good looking pool. And it's only like a foot deep, so I won't drown in it. So, we got the floor cut out all the way down. Uh, I need to come in here and clean this cut up. But now, we're gonna come in here, unbolt this column, take this heater box out, and you can see where this indention of the firewall is. We're gonna cut it out there. So we're gonna cut that and go from there. That's still the cut. So we can see what we got going but yeah so after this we're gonna probably call it a i mean call it on this for now until i figure out what i'm gonna do with a chassis so there's rust They smoked in it. Gross.
I really hope this doesn't hurt the resale value of this thing. Because, you know, I care about it. Alright, as you can see, we got everything cut out of it. Uh, I did a little measuring, and it's going to be tight. Uh, I measured the Model A's 302, I almost fell, and it's like 19 overall height, and then 28-ish lengthwise. So, we're going to have to make that fit. I did find a frame on Marketplace. I'm not totally sure if I want to use it or not. The front is 25 and a quarter wide, which will actually work. And it's actually to a Model A, so it has a big step up in it. In the rear, it steps up 19 inches. So actually, I just did some measuring. That actually probably work out pretty good. So it depends if we want to go with the gasser look or if we want to go with the lower, look like a go-kart spinning in circles look. I don't know. I haven't really made up my mind. The frame's fairly cheap. I'm waiting to hear back on it from a few people on some frame options. Maybe go that route. Totally haven't decided, but we'll see. But now I got a big mess to clean up and that's gonna conclude everything we got going on on this thing for now until we get a frame figured out. Because we have an engine, we have two transmission options. We have either an automatic C4 or a top loader three speed. I have both, so we need to decide on that. I have a four nine inch, so we need to get the frame and stuff in here so we can narrow it. And front suspension, depends if we go gas or go-kart. So we'll have to figure that out. But that's all we're gonna get done on this thing for now. I'm gonna move it over to the side, get all this stuff cleaned up and get started on the next project, which I'm about to go pick up here in a little bit. It's not mine, but we're gonna work on it anyways. So there you go. Till next time.